We are the School of Design and Environment. Our new building should represent for the industry really what future buildings should be. Singapore, by nature of its existence in this equatorial belt, it is incumbent on us to demonstrate in a leadership position it can be done. The universities are special organisations. What we're doing is something that has the potential to put the university into a different place internationally. For our building, we, we aspire it to be zero energy if possible, uh, or even energy positive, and it also represents a pedagogical building for our students. Our students should be able to learn from this building what to do and what not to do. University buildings are a very important manifestation of the values of the institution, and actually should say something about what the institution uh, is, where it sits in the world, where its ambition is. It was to be an aspirational statement of who we are, how we as a school of design and environment wish to be perceived. This was also a question of how we teach outside the classroom, how the building becomes an instrument of pedagogy, how it expresses itself through its details, through the articulation of elements. For SDE4, uh, what we envision uh, is a school configured in such a way that it promotes uh, interaction because you are able to see what your colleagues are working on, what other students are working on. We envision a very open, very transparent uh, space in which the outside space and inside space is ambiguous, in which nature, landscape plays an important part uh, as a backdrop to the building. The first part of the process was really about defining a clear brief. Paramount in all of this was the safety and well-being of our students and staff. So it was very important that the brief spoke of daylighting, ventilation, views, and that this, together with fresh air requirements, would create conditions in which our students and faculty could do their jobs at the optimal level. To create a net zero energy building, there are several challenges, but in the tropics in particular, you need to deal with the year-around high temperatures and humidity. Air conditioning systems probably contribute up to 60% to the total energy load of a building. The notion of building performance is premised upon the designing to meet human requirements. So it is people-centric. The hybrid system actually represents a paradigm shift that we create an environment in which the individual persons can find their comfort by adjusting their environment, by elevating the airspeed, by moving around, which is a very different approach to personal thermal comfort. SD4 is a particularly challenging project and it's enabled actually the users, the community within SDE and also UCI to work together in a way that perhaps they've not been able to before. I think there's a lot of learnings in terms of how we approach the delivery of projects, how we collaborate as a group. Every building is a living entity. Think of it that way. So we are not just going to be satisfied necessarily with the immediate baseline but rather to look at this entity as a continuous life cycle learning opportunity so that as every generation of students that come to us over the next 10 years, 15 years, would have that opportunity to experience and to engage with the building. That building will remain a living lab, but it is a very valid goal as we continue to aspire to even greater things.